stuff if you get it in, it's very easy to damage and all that, so. I know how to clean it up. Oh, yes, I guess you do, don't you? Yeah, I forgot that. Sorry. Yeah. I do appreciate the sentiment of the Not everybody knows how to, right, or they don't have the tool to open it up. Uh, for some reason? Uh, John. And your phone number? Good. <laughs> Are you sure that he pans or waffle about? Uh, huh? Here. Yeah. 64 cases. Someone got his butt. There's a reflection of my finger impaled upon it. So we get in five. <laughs> Buffy down here. There you go. All six seasons and all five of Angel right there. So, I'll tell you stop by and you just missed it too. So, so I'll say it's a two. Yes. Alright. I'll see you next time, okay? Let me know if there's anything else. Sure. I think I only played it once, but. There is something special about that level. Oh. Um. <laughs> no problem. Anyway, if uh, it is nighttime and you have the last few minutes before we take off to head back to the U.S. of a oh and a fart. Uh, I would have expected a better fart than that. It was such an epic moment. Coke was a straw. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, November. And the clouds do suggest that some hostile weather is approaching. Oh, I may still be here when it gets day two. I don't know, I'll take it off at like three, two something, I don't remember. <laughs> Holy crap, you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Oh man, you got me pretty good there. Oh, okay, that's what I'm done there. Yeah, I've been really radio story for like six hours a couple days. I was like, oh. Again, you got me kind of hooked. And here's where we did off. Well, I showed you this already, the recording, but now so much less than there was. So many, f and, and yet there's still so much. There's a Sega Genesis, a Wii Wii, Mario 3D Land. Do -do 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 -do. I gotta remember what, because mine has Zelda in it. This one, this one, yeah. Mine's already my bag. I don't even know who I'm kidding. Ha ha ha. This must be a, no, that's a PSP. I thought it was a Game Gear. Two PS3s. <laughs> Xbox. Wii. NES. Classic NES. Of course, the Super Nintendo stuff is back there, as we've seen. Oh, yeah. Saturn. Japanese Saturn. Huh. Damn. That was very sweet. Oh my god, I can't wait to get back and see all those pictures on Facebook that everybody sent. Huh. You took some hair. Let me see that. Yes, goodbye to the bedroom. Some good times were had here. DK64, my first time ever playing it was on this TV. That system with that controller. Oh yeah. I'll definitely have to start a new file when I get home and work on it now that I know what I'm doing. Yeah, uh, it's so hard saying goodbye sometimes, but it must happen. It must happen. Oh, I never noticed this. <laughs> cool. Oh, that's cozy. <laughs> kind of like that actually. Let me come here. I should sleep in that. Oh my god, yeah, I would totally bed. sleep in that. <laughs> Bunk bed, nice. Yep. It's a whale. It's a whale of an opportunity. You know. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure which flavors which, I just kind of sort of box. So, you two can <laughs> cool. go through those two. Ah, uh, I'll just grab it. These are like, these are pretty easy for you. I'm not, I don't usually eat these. Oh, okay. Uh, so, you two can go through these and share them back and forth between each other. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we were waiting across the street. We went back down to 7 Eleven and we dropped some cash. Yeah. And then walked up to some Hortons. 7 Eleven, we were waiting across the street at a crosswalk. Yeah. There was a guy who stopped for us. And then there was a guy who didn't see us there and he kept going. And he realized that there was somebody waiting to cross, so he slams on his brakes to let us cross. And when he slams on his brakes, 
That guy just runs right into his back. Oh, when was it today? Yes, we caused the car accident. Yeah. Did you guys stop I mean, and be witnesses to the accident? Or did you guys just keep going? We just kept going. Hey, there was no damage or anything. I'm like, there was no damage. No. <laughs> so it's still an accident. You have to report car accidents. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't remember that. Well, someone has to. It doesn't necessarily have to be you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what killed the dinosaurs? The ice, the ice age! <laughs> yeah. Even though that's not true. <laughs> Shut up, it works for the movie. The ice age! I'm Mr. White Christmas, I'm Mr. Snow! <laughs> Got it with that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, Tim, what time is your flight? About 2.30 or something. Um, what they will ask you to do is they're going to ask you to declare uh, what you're bringing back from Canada. So they're going to ask you, like, how, basically how much money is it? Like, what's the total value of everything you bought in Canada and are bringing back to the U.S.? $42. Yeah, because you both bought Mario. That's about it. Yeah. So, yeah, the limit it depends on how long you stay in the country. Um, going from the U.S. to Canada, the limit for, I think, staying a week is you can bring back $2,000 worth of stuff like that. But it, it's different if you say it's business related. Uh, I don't know how. Because I'm wearing uh, a coat doesn't mean I'm going to buy a <laughs> I like to see your travel, though. I would. Okay, guys, we're at the Calgary Airport now. We just passed customs, and me and Emil just said goodbye to each other about three minutes ago. So the feeling is still fresh. Oh, the feeling of, oh, I missed. Yeah, it's like, oh, we missed John already. <laughs> That's what he said. It was like, oh, I missed John already. That was so funny. Yeah, he put us up for a week, though. It was very kind of him to do that. And uh, there's a little look outside. Um, being from the Wisconsin area, I can tell you that those clouds do not bode well. There's definitely some nasty weather headed this way. Hopefully we get out before it hits. But it looks like it's coming pretty soon, so there's really no telling. I mean, those are really low, too. Especially if you're way back there in the distance, how it gets really dark right there towards the, I mean, you probably can't see it on the camera, but man. So what do we have here? Pollock? Jeez, I didn't know Caster Troy's brother had a video game named after him. Jeez. Just like Raiden and all. Oh, you can see me in the reflection, man. Get off of there. Get my ugly ass off the camera, man. At least until I gain another, or lose another 50 pounds. You know, I was so excited when I stepped on the scale after, the, like yesterday, I took a weighing myself, and I was 175. I was like, oh my god, did I really lose that much weight? And then I was like, oh no, that's in kilograms. <laughs> actually, I'm kidding, I didn't actually weigh myself, I don't know how much I am in kilograms. I just thought I would tell that joke because it's funny. Anyway, I'm probably talking too loud here. Pick off, this must be like a, that weird game. See my reflection again? No. I don't think it's really loud there. Well, I guess we're on the U.S. side of the airport now, aren't we? So I was going to get some Calgary um, souvenirs, but I didn't really get much. I got a... Uh, we went to Five Guys. People were saying we should go to Five Guys because we're like the Runaway Five, the Runaway Guys. We did go there, and I got a gift card from there. I didn't put anything on the card. I just picked it up. So uh, that's kind of fun. And, uh, yeah, let's take a look at what we got in here. Let me just take a look and see. Yeah, what you're seeing up there. You can jump down. We got Super Mario 3D landing. Let me show you that. Oh man, you got to, okay, I did get something here. And you got to have a look at this. I just got this at Tim Hortons this morning. This uh, paper was sitting out. And look at this, okay. This is a, yeah, this is a Calgary newspaper. And, um, and check out this article they have. Potty problems. Protesters at Olympic Plaza have been handed around two dozen tickets so far, including some for urinating and defecating in public. You know, in the bathroom. Oh, jeez, man. They're going to come and throw me out of here from causing this conduct if I keep this up. They're just screaming in the bathroom. The entire article is in here somewhere, and it's so hilarious the way they worded it. It's like... <laughs> The protest ongoing at Olympic Plaza. This is basically like Occupy Wall Street, but it's happening in Canada too. So, um, this, but it's at Olympic Plaza, and it says, "This is this is exactly what it says now." Too. I don't know if you can read this. 
the protest ongoing at Olympic Plaza is more about occupying than occupying. <laughs> if tickets being issued by police Sunday. Just whatever. I don't know, man. You can't make this stuff up. But then again, you know, eventually, stand out there for long enough, you have to go to the bathroom somewhere, I guess. Or else an alka seltzer. Never needed it. I should be at here. Super Mario. That's what I should do. Just sit down, play some Mario Land. Or get, or get a little further on Radiant Historia. One or the other. I have to do something. My flight doesn't leave for another two hours, so I've got some time to mess around. So, uh, there you go. Alright, see ya.
Ohio, we suggest due to the sporty size of the aircraft, any personal items you brought on board today, such as elbows, knees, shins, or toes, be kept out of the aisle for your self-preservation. For those of you new to flying with us, we have one restroom on board. It is located in the very back of the plane. Three indicators are in occupied. To be on the wall in front of row one next to the exit sign. On the wall in front of row three next to the exit sign. And if you're facing the rear of our aircraft, on the left-hand side of the restroom door, just above the seat back.